XML, how we will be passing the data from the report to Excel shares and building on it. Now to get to this point where you see the data, the key to design a good Excel shares chart, whether whatever you want to present in the rest of the portion of the report, it doesn't matter. But the data which you need for Excel shares, first you should build you should try to build that uh, layout in your crystal report the way you want to see it in the Excel how you will be getting it into Excel shares so if you notice we just have purely the data which we would need for the Excel shares uh, to design this report so once we have this we will export this report into Excel data only format so that we know uh, how to uh, basically structure how basically we want to know how the structure looks into Excel shares and then we will create that combination chart in Excel shares. We'll go through that process now. So let me export this as a sales report.xls. Overriding this file and says yes. And then I'll go back and open Excel shares. Then we go to data, import. It just wants you about and then we open that Excel file. So when you do this we know exactly that we will be able to send the data to Excel shares in this format. So Excel shares will be looking for this particular uh, format. We can change the formatting and some of the things in the Excel once we know the core data which would be sent through Crystal reports to Excel shares. So we have a month and year and then number of customers and order amount up here. So we will include a combination chart. So I'll go into the components chart, then I'll choose a combination chart and place it on the canvas. There are different options in Excel shares which you can play around uh, even before coming to this point where uh, you will set your document properties on the size which you want to have this Excel shares chart and those kind of stuff plus you can have the grid open on your Excel shares designer in the preferences you can have this you can choose the grid show grid and snap to grid options on that will give you this highlighted horizontal and vertical lines and you can play around with the grid size so if that's too big then we can customize the grid size to say 20, 20 that will give us more squares and to play around into the grid so once we have this combination chart first I will give the title of the chart say sales So monthly sales and no subtitle to this or other okay and then we'll put it as by series and add the first series which I want it to be the order amount the values I'll choose okay and then category labels are these ones and then I'll include a secondary access say as the customers and I'll make it as secondary access and the values I'll choose it up from here so that gives us the basic combination chart and now we will be able to play around into its formatting by going into different tabs up here in the properties
So once I have this, I can go to drill down. I don't want any drill down on this one. Behavior, I can change, ignore, in series and in values. We'll come back to this, what it does. Dynamic visibility is one thing, option where we Major tags. Marker size, you can maybe keep it at 25 on the column chart, and then here make it to maybe 5 or 10. Change it to this. Line thickness to two. So we are saving this as the sales report dot xlf. Plus it say yes. Okay. Now one portion of designing this uh, Excel sheet chart is over. So if you go into preview, you will be able to see that Excel sheet chart over here with its nice hovering over features. Uh, we will be again modifying this chart to further have the slider and the menu and all the stuff. But for now we'll see how this excel sheet chart can be integrated with crystal and based on the uh, month and year data what you're seeing on the crystal report reflects on your excel sheet chart when it's integrated in your uh, crystal reports so for that first we have to do the work on crystal report side where what we'll do is first build an excel sheet xml header so first we are uh, saying how an xml is used to send the interactive real-time data from the crystal to Excel shares and how it looks on the crystal reports then. So for that what we have done is in the report header uh, I have this formula build Excel shares header. So what this doing is just we are declaring a string variable Excel shares string and to this uh, we are hard coding the page header labels which we have month year number of customers and order amount so this will go back and fit into excel shares portion of your uh, top row here so this is what it's doing in the header so first we are building the header in the report header of the crystal report now second thing we are doing is since we have this data on the groups we are building the excel shares string in a group header so if you notice this Excel uh, string, it's concatenating to what we have built in the header with the actual data. So here we are giving the group name, which will pick up the actual month's name, what are sh being shown in the crystal. And then this one will pick us the order IDs uh, sum count, and then the this will pick up the order amount sum so if we go to the preview and look at this so this is our first formula let me zoom it to see it a little more clear uh, so this one is the formula which is building the header and then on each row it keeps on concatenating the data so first column is built here where we have 2001 December 2001 column choose uh, which is the count of the customer ID and then uh, basically the order amount so it keeps on concatenating those and then in the group footer area in the display excel shares string so here we are closing that with the two xml data excel shares string so if you look at the preview now on our last page here so this will close the data tag of the xml 
so this is the one we'll be sending to the Excel shares. So let's see now how that's uh, built into Excel shares first and then how we'll be integrating it in the crystal. So we know that uh, our formula we have used in our all of these formulas to display is our Excel shares string. So this is the exact name case sensitive you would need in your Excel shares to communicate that that portion is coming from the crystal. So we'll go to data connections and we'll add a connection here we'll add flash variable get the name we'll give it as Excel share string XML and just we give the name as Excel share string here and the range we will define here what XML is basically sending so XML will be loading this entire portion starting from here a1 to C14 so we'll include all this in our XML string saying that it will come from the Excel share string up here we'll close it we will save the XLF and then we will generate the flash sales report swift file we are saving it So the sweep, once the sweep is generated, we'll come back to our crystal report and say I want this uh, X, this flash chart on the next page in my report footer. So I'll have a new page, paging break, new page after on my group footer, and then I'll come back and insert that sweep file we just generated. Actually, it's in my documents. Libraries, documents. Embed into here. Let me try to make the landscape just to make sure I don't want to change that there so made it as landscape now this chart is up here in crystal so I will go into flash data expert and I will say the flash variable name here and I will type the Excel share string and the value will come from display Excel share string so once this is done so our all interactive is also built now so now when I refresh this report and run this report oops let me remove this page break which I got this in the group order and insert a report footer instead and then have a new page after on this one so if you notice on the second page it's starting from December 2001 to December 2002 and then our data will be matching what we see up here to just give a brief example so if you notice we have December 2001 whatever data you see up here in the crystal report will ref ref reflect on your Excel system